HPE, because there wasn't a lot going on this week, decided to add an event and they did Greenlight Day. And it was a, an event focusing on the company's uh, whole everything as a service model, been one of the most popular growth areas, over half a billion dollars in recurring revenue now for the organization and continued offerings that are, are really helping to drive more revenue. The focus of this event was kind of twofold. Um, it was a, an announcement around a new HPC offering, Pat. And, and by the way, you know, I, this one I was going to take, but um, do you want it or you want me to keep going? Sure. I mean, uh, I, and again, we're. But I took yours, so I just, you know, we're a little banter, a little friendly banter here. I was just going to give you the give you the mic because I did. No. Uh, so uh, top line here, uh, Gr Green Lake HPE one was, uh, uh, I would say, the first traditionally uh, on prem vendor to to go uh, fully as a service, or at least say every one of our products will be available as as a service and i feel like that sent shock waves uh, throughout the throughout the industry not that other folks weren't doing that uh but that uh it was the proclamation that everything uh would be and in this case uh we saw uh, them get very vertical on a i would say a workload or an industry so high performance uh computing now uh i think it's a smart move for HPE to go more vertical if it's going to try to get a uh, hybrid cloud um, business uh, because the horizontal uh, cloud, particularly the public cloud, they, they don't necessarily uh, participate in. But the vertical cloud, I think uh, companies like HPE, and we've seen some activity with Oracle and IBM, uh, going vertical is a is a smart move, and I think HPE brings a lot of credibility to HPC uh, from their previous acquisitions of uh, Blue Data is a good one, uh, but also of Cray uh, on the platform. Cray knows high performance computing, and so does uh, Blue Data. Um, and so, uh, if the company has success any anywhere, this is where I would expect it to do well strong infrastructure, uh, strong software wrapped in a unique Green Lake consumption model. Yeah, Pat, and you, you know what, like I said, sorry for throwing you that ball, but I felt like, you know, I kind of hogged the mic. So sometimes, you know, in the spirit of our, of our partnership here and, and everyone out there listening that want to hear a little more Pat and a little less Dan, I want to make sure they got it. So l listen, I, I, you know, I got to listen to Pete Ungaro actually on Yahoo Finance the other day. He, he did a really good presentation. He leads that HPC business. I'm really encouraged about what the company is doing. You know, this was kind of the differentiation that HPE needed. Um, and they are ahead. The company is ahead of the curve with some of the tools. Now that's not to say that the OEM industry and you know the IBMs, the Cisco's and Dell's uh, won't all be gunning for, for the company, but I think that, that GreenLake's done a good job getting out in front and understanding user experience, understanding their 37% uh, market leadership in HPC was an area that the company could lean into. Um, so essentially just a couple of things about the HPC service and then we'll move on is one is it's being integrated quickly into to, uh, GreenLake Central, which is that hub that is really giving that control plane level of being able to deploy workloads and see all your uh, analytics and data. So that's uh, the first thing. So you can optimize your, your HPC services there. There's a self-service dashboard so you can basically enable, you know, your users to run, manage HPC clusters on their own without, you know, any disruption to current workloads, just using point and click function. So that's good. Consumption analytics. This is where it gets more and more like public cloud um, because of what GreenLake is doing is creating that public cloud experience on prem. You know, they're giving you at a glance analytics of usage and cost uh, for your HPC, which is something people obviously want to pay attention to. And then they're added, they're kind of packaging, they're adding a whole series of like AI and apps, Pat, which kind of goes back to what you were saying, like about verticals, right? They're adding more packaging, more simplicity, more streamlining. So you can use HPC for very specific, but common applications where this technology provides additional value for customers.